Hey, what's your name? Uh, I'm Dawood. That's a girl's name. Are you a girl? I think he is. <laughs> <laughs> You're not from here. You don't go to our school. What are you doing here? I just moved here with my parents. This is my first day at school. Why do you look funny? Um, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you can't sit there. Oh, sorry. I thought it was free. No, someone is already sitting there. Oh. Yeah, he's invisible. Only clever people can see him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like you now. You've squashed him and he wants you to go away. He says you look and smell funny. So I keep my body healthy, running around in the sun. I play, and it feels so good because sun provides my vitamin D, the nice fresh air that I breathe. My friends, every day I see. Sometimes we rest just a little bit. That's how we stay so fit by being active every day. Eating lots of fruits and veggies Avoid eating too much junk And when we get home We're so tired Excuse me, is it okay if I play too? No, we already have enough people Bet you're letting other children play? Well, they don't look strange, unlike you Assalamu alaikum guys. What's going on here? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You must be new here. It was my first day at school. Oh, first days are always the hardest. Especially when you don't know anyone. I don't want to know anyone. Nobody likes me here. I want to go back to my old school. They didn't make fun of me because I looked and sounded different. Hmm. I wish I looked and sounded like them. Look at all the children playing. Everyone is different. Some of the children are tall, some are short, some have black hair and some have blonde hair but they all have something in common. 
they are all children learning about the world on the same journey of ups and downs to becoming an adult. But how can I stop them from bullying me when I'm so much different from them? First, you have to be strong and always be yourself. Once they get to know who you are and what is special about you, I'm sure you will have many good friends here. Help me! Call the fire brigade! Call the police! Call the postman! Call anybody! I can't get down! Try to stay calm, Rami. We'll get you down. He's very scared. I can see. We will have to find someone with a ladder or call the fire brigade to help. Wait, someone is climbing up the tree. Be careful, Dawood. Don't worry, Zaki. I'm an expert at climbing trees. Where did he go? Our kites! I've never seen anyone climb a tree that good before. He must have trained with the army. Or maybe he was in the circus. Or maybe he has superpowers. Sometimes, people will treat someone differently or even bully them because they look or sound very different or maybe even because of the food they eat or clothes they wear. It can be very sad. Just because someone is from a different place or of a different race doesn't mean they are any different on the inside. And maybe they are being mean to someone who could be the best friend they ever had. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us to be kind and treat everyone the same. We are waiting for you. I want to show you how high I can fly the kite. Such a nice day. Huh? Oh, yummy, yummy honey. Bismillah. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Mmm, mmm, mm. so nice. Ouch! Look around, you will see. Hey. Ouch! There's so many things. Kazwa, swim over here. Come, let's hide behind these bushes. Oh, the bee is so nasty. Well, what did you do to make him so angry? Uh, uh, uh nothing. Kazwa, Bilal the bee doesn't just sting people for no reason. Well, well, well uh, I was just having a little bit of honey from the hive. Ha, ah, I knew it. Don't you know Bilal is very protective over his honey? It's better to ask him first. But that honey looked so delicious. You know what, Kazwa? Bees worked very hard to make that honey. 
and in the process, they pollinate the plants so they can grow. Bees play a huge part in life on Earth. Yeah, I know. Everything Allah has created is so amazing and perfect, like the mountains, rivers, plants and oceans. Just look around you and you will see. I can see the dolphins swimming in the ocean. I can see a stingray too. There are so many beautiful things. Just look around and you will see. I can see a frog jumping from a rock. I can see a dragonfly too. There are so many beautiful things Just look around and you will see I can see a bumblebee buzzing on a flower I can see a grasshopper too There are so many beautiful things Just look around and you will see I can see a turtle, I can see a cat I can see an octopus, I can see a bat I can see a tiger, I can see an egg I can see a spider hanging off a plant I can see a camel, I can see a bear I can see a lion, I can see a head I can see a butterfly, I can see a fox I can see a pelican, I can see an ox I can see the moon, I can see the stars I can see the raindrops falling from the clouds I can see the mountains high above the trees I can see the waterfall so beautiful to see I can see the rivers flowing nice and slow Lots and lots of fish swimming down below I can see a porcupine, I can see a duck I can see an elephant playing in the mud There are so many beautiful things Just look around and you will see Who made the lions? Allah! Who made the ants? Allah! Who made the pelicans? Allah! Who made the plants? Allah! Who made the bees? Allah! And all the trees? Allah! So many animals? Allah! That we can see? Allah! There are so many beautiful things Just look around and you will see you back to my place. Okay, but I don't think you will beat me. <laughs> so many well, boys and girls, we gotta go now. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Yeah, especially bees. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have enough money for these? Yes, I think we have just enough for two pairs. That's great, let's get them. I'll count the money first. We will be amazing wearing these. The best players in town. What's wrong? Where's the money? Oh no. <laughs> Fun. 
London. We can't give up. We worked so hard to get that money. This is so unfair. We'll just never find it. What is it? Wow! We could buy a thousand football boots with this. Maybe we could buy our own football team. I want one of these. Let's make it two. And, and, and two of those as well. Should we get green, yellow or red? Hmm, I think we can get all of them. Excellent idea. That looks like fun. What are you doing, guys? We're trying to decide what to buy for ourselves. There are so many things we want. If you work hard, I am sure you can have it all. We are ready to buy them all now. Yes, we just need to decide what we want and how much we can carry. Oh, how we get the money to pay for them all. Show him, Rashid. Wow. That is impressive. Where did you get it from? We found it on the footpath into town. Oh, so it's not yours? Yes, it is ours now. Finders keepers. Losers weepers. But there could be someone out there looking for it. You should try to find the owner first. I'm sure it's very important to them. But we lost our money on the way to the store. And no one came to look for us. That doesn't matter. How did you feel when you discovered you'd lost your money? Well, not good. It was terrible. And you want to make someone feel that way too. We need to look for the owner. I think we have a clue. There was a stranger asking about a stone he'd lost. I think his name was Mr. Monocle. He looked very rich and he's staying at the big hotel at the end of the street. I think that's our man. <laughs> But Zaki, if he's very rich, why do we have to give the money back to him? Yes, he probably has so much money. And we lost all our money. We can't even buy new football boots now. It's not all about how rich or poor someone is. It's about being honest. If you find something that isn't yours, you should always try to return it to the rightful owner. We must be honest in our dealings, and there is no better reward or feeling than being honest and doing what is right. Okay, we understand, Zaki. Excuse me. You must be Mr. Monocle. Yes, indeed, I am. And how may I be of service? I think my friends Harun and Rashid have found something that belongs to you. Oh, really? How wonderful! How wonderful indeed! My stone! Thank you. Thank you so much. How do you feel now? I'm glad we gave it back. Yes, it feels good to have made someone so happy. Rashid, Harun, we thought we would find you here. Mr. Monocle wanted to come and show his thanks. Yes, indeed. It may have been a worthless stone 
of little value at all. But it was given to me by my great grandmother and it means the world to me. I wanted to give you a gift to show my deepest thanks. Wow! What do you say Rashid and Harun? Thanks Mr. Monaco. Thanks so much! Being truthful and honest makes us feel good and is rewarded greatly by Allah. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was known as Al-Amin, the trustworthy. This is a quality we should all practice with others. If we find something that isn't ours, then we should do our best to find the owner and return it to them. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. One for Kids online store. Check out a range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support. So you have to release the string gently, like this. Oh, that looks easy. Now you give it a try. Okay, so I release the string a little, and then... Wow, look at it go! Well done, Kazwa. Okay, now I pull the string in a bit. Look how high it's going. Be careful now, don't lose it. Wait! Wait! Come back! Oh no! Shadow Valley! Shadow Valley! Oh! What do we do now? Ah, uh, well, Shadow Valley, it's dangerous in there. Subhanallah! That wind was so strong just now. What's wrong? My kite! It blew into Shadow Valley. <laughs> well, it's not that far in. I could fly in and get it. Really? Sure. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That lightning bolt was so close to me. Yes, it was. Alhamdulillah, you were okay. Did you hear that lightning strike? We sure did. It almost hit Tufa in Shadow Valley. Why was he in Shadow Valley? My kite is stuck on a branch over there. Well, I'm good at climbing and I'm not scared of lightning, so let me try. That would be great! But please be careful, Dawood. I thought you weren't scared of lightning. But, but, I'm very scared of thunder. Oh no! What will we do now? Hmm. Well, the kite brought us all together, so maybe we should all go and get it together. But what about the lightning? And the thunder? I know. I'll sing a song. That way, we'll feel less afraid. Great idea. And I know how we can get the kite. It's 
was a big, big storm and I lost my kite. So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite. So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite. So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright. Got it! Sick, you're the best! You guys are the best friends ever! Shazakum Allahu Khairan for getting my kite back! That's what friends are for! And that song was so fun to sing. Yes, that's the best fun I've ever had in a storm. Yes, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. No, no thank, thank you. you. I think I better not fly my kite right now. It's too windy. Let's go back to my house for some juice and cookies. Yummy. Sounds good. Let's go. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright Oh no! I'd better hurry up or I'll be late to the party! A honey cake without honey? Oh no! Oh, everyone was expecting me to have the honey cake at the party! Hmm, what can I do? Oh, I know! I'll go get some honey from Bilal's beehive! But this time, I'll ask him, so he doesn't get angry with me. Bilal, are you there? Hmm. There's nobody in there. MashaAllah, there's so much honey. I'm sure Bilal won't mind if I take some. Alhamdulillah, this honey is so good. Mm. Strange that Kazwa hasn't arrived yet. Yes, it's very odd. He's always on time. I'll go see if he's okay.
One at a time, you cowards! Hmm. It seems strange that the window is closed. Could he be on his way already? Kazwa, is that you? What are you doing on the floor? Ugh, I was attacked. By who? I don't know. They attacked me in complete darkness. I'm guessing it was Bilal and all his friends. There were so many of them, coming at me from every angle. Hmm, I hear you Kaz, but I don't see anyone around here. They're probably waiting for me outside. You'll see. Why would Bilal come to your house to attack you? Um, well, I ran out of honey and went to ask Bilal for some, but he wasn't there. So I took the honey I needed for the cake. I spread the honey over the cake and left it on the window to cool down. And that's when Bilal came to attack me. And what happened next? I closed the window and hid. He must have entered through the door. Look, it's open. Kazwa, it was closed. I opened it. You must have dreamt the whole thing. It wasn't a dream, I'm sure. If not, then who hit me on the head? They're probably outside waiting for me. I told you he was angry. Let's run, fast. All this running has made me so hungry. Kazwa, you ruined the cake. Just wait till we get to the party and then you can have some. Zeki, we need the cake to get there in one piece. Don't worry, Kazwa. I won't drop it. I hope. Well kids, once again, Kazwa has got us in trouble with Bilal. We'd better go. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others, especially bees. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bee in the garden. Buzzing around. There's a bee on the flower. Drinking the nectar. There's a bee flying home. Back to its hive, another amazing creation of Allah. Bees make the honey, oh yummy, 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 and it's good for your tummy. Subhanallah, delicious and yummy. Alhamdulillah, another amazing creation of Allah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, Kazwa. Wa alaikum as Harun. What are you looking for? I'm looking for Rashid. I can't seem to find him anywhere. I think he's lost. He's lost? How? When? He wasn't there when I woke up, and he didn't even come for breakfast. Well, that's strange. 
I can help you if you like. Really? That would be awesome. I think we should check by the river. Let's go then. Acorn shells? These must belong to Rashid. And there's more. Hmm, what's this? Looks like one of Zane's letters. Maybe he knows where Rashid is. <laughs> Looking for this? <gasps> I thought I lost that. Jazakallahu khayran for returning it to me. But where did you find it? By the river. We are trying to find Rashid. Oh, I saw him earlier. He said he was going to visit Zaki. Great, let's go to Zaki's place. Thanks for the help, Zane. Hmm, I wonder how I dropped ya. Well, I better get you delivered. Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Wa alaikum assalam, Kazwa. Assalamu alaikum, Harun. What are you two up to today? We need your help, Zaki. We can't find Rashid. Well, that's funny. I saw him this morning. He came past for breakfast. Do you know where he went after that? Hmm, he said he was going by the school to do something. Oh, he must be there then. Let's go, Kazwa. Thanks, Zeki. I don't see him anywhere. I'm really worried, Kazwa. He's my only brother. What will I do without him? Don't worry, Harun. We won't leave till we find him, inshallah. Thanks, Kazwa. Hello? Someone there? Did you hear that? I need some help. Please. I think it's Rashid. Where is it coming from? It's coming from over there. Rashid, is that you? Yes, it's me. I'm stuck. Please get me down. I have an idea, Harun. I, I'm, I'm gonna fall! Thanks so much, Kazwa. I thought I'd be stuck up there forever. Why did you climb up such a big tree? Look how big its acorns are. I wanted to surprise you with one. Wow, mashallah. But still, I'm not happy with you. You could have fallen down and really hurt yourself. I'm sorry, Harun. What Harun means to say is that he was very, very worried about you. No, I wasn't. You were worried about me? Alhamdulillah, I am glad you found me. I thought I was going to hang upside down all night. Feel like some acorns? Sure do. Sure, I'll try some. Today, we have learned a very important message, and that is, we should never wander off on our own without telling our parents or someone we know. If we hadn't found Rashid, then he could have fallen out of the tree and really hurt himself, and no one would like that. Till next time, Assalamu Alaikum.
Why did you let them get the ball? I tripped on the rock. Anyway, it was your plan to make me run backwards. How was I supposed to see where I was running? Okay, this time I'll wait for you to kick the ball forward and then run forward to catch it. Okay, stop celebrating. We know you're winning. Hurry up and take the kickoff. We only have one minute left of the match. notice if we leave the ball here? Of course he will notice. It has your name on it, silly. Zaki, we gotta go. Rashid is very scared of bees. Don't worry, Harun. We'll take care of it. Okay, we'll continue the game another day, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. We can use some of the tree sap on this tree to glue it back together. I'll do it. You look out for Bilal. There we go. Perfect! Oh no! There's Bilal now! Oh no! Let's get out of here, Zeki! No. 
Your life, Kazwa. is coming for you again. Hurry up, Zeki! He's catching up to us! Uh, hold on tight, Kazwa! Catching up again. I can't seem to go faster. Do you think he's gone? Um, he's right behind you. What? Wh wh where? Relax, Kazwa. He's not awake. <laughs> I've never been this close to him. Zeki! I think he's waking up. Quick, let's get out of here before he sees us. Till the next adventure, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Watch this, Kazwa. The water feels so nice today. Come in, Kaz. Take a swim. Um, maybe later. I'm enjoying my drink now. Come on, Kazwa. It's fun.
see the dolphin swimming in the ocean I can see a stingray too There are so many beautiful things Just look around and you will see uh, do, do you think we've lost him? I think so. We swam quite a bit. I think he's still mad at me. That bee never forgets anything. Hurry up. Let's get back to my place before he sees us. Kazwa, what are you doing up in that tree? Below the bees, down there. It's not the bee, it's a beetle. It, it doesn't matter. Let's run away fast before it feels like eating us. Zaki, look! It's below the bee! Oh no! Quick! Let's run faster! Well boys and girls, we gotta go now. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum! <laughs> Would you like some fizzy drink, Zeki? No thanks, Kaz. I'm warming up, ready to go for a run. Why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week. And it would be fun to exercise together. I'm far too tired to go running. Maybe we can play soccer or basketball. I don't feel like it, Zeki. You can never win the race, Zeki. You are too big and too slow. Why don't you lay down here with me and enjoy a fizzy drink? No thanks, Kazwa. I want to try to get as fit as possible for the race. Don't forget to clean your teeth from all the sugar in that fizzy drink. Okay, Zeki. I will. Assalamu alaikum, Zeki. Wa alaikum assalam, guys. Hope you do well in the big race next week. We're going to easily win this race. I know, we will get the fastest time too. Come on Harun, we don't have time to stop now. We need to keep exercising for the race. But I'm hungry, they have chocolate cookies. They are my favourite. We have to stick to our healthy diet, Harun. If we start eating cookies, won't it make us slower? 
One cookie won't hurt us. And they look so delicious. Mmm, they sure do. Assalamu alaikum, Maui. Wa alaikum assalam, guys. How's the preparation for the race going? Good, alhamdulillah. The race is ours. We got it in the bag. Yeah, too easy. Okay then, see you at the race insha'Allah. Oh, you sure will. But make sure you don't blink because we will be running so fast you could miss us. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, Zeki? I'm warming up, Kazwa. Why are you warming up? I don't need to warm up. I am ready to go. Warming up is very important before running or playing sport. When we stretch our muscles, it helps our blood flow better around all parts of our body. Warming up our body temperature just a little to prepare our body for exercise or sport. If we don't warm up correctly, it can cause us to get injuries or damage our muscles. Ooh. That's right, Kazwa. Very good. Come on, Harun. We don't have time to stop. We'll be late. But I'm hungry. And look at those yummy cakes. They're my favorite. I thought chocolate cookies were your favorite. One cake won't hurt us. And don't they look scrumptious? Mmm. Where are Harun and Rashid? Here they come. Are you sure you're ready to race? We sure are, Zaki. We're ready to win. To your positions, please. On your marks. Get set. Go! I always look more than twice It's so amazing to me And I know Yes I know Allah created it perfectly I can see So many beautiful things Where do I start? Look up at the stars And you will see what I mean Subhanallah Subhanallah why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week. Well done, Zeki. Thanks, Kazwa. Zeki, how did you get so fit? It's easy to get fit, Tufa. We just need to eat healthy foods and do regular exercise. Drinking too many fizzy drinks is bad for our body. Fizzy drinks contain a lot of sugar, and too much sugar can make us unhealthy and unfit. It is also bad for our teeth. We should try to avoid fizzy drinks and drink more water and fresh fruit juice instead. It's the same if we eat too many unhealthy foods. Unhealthy foods 
cause us to gain weight. And when we gain too much weight or get too unfit, it is very bad for our health. We lose power and become slow. Our bodies are a great blessing from Allah. And so we need to take good care of them. And never eat just before you do exercise. Oh. Where's Harun? Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you, as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial. Allah, what a beautiful day for fishing. Sure is, Kaz. Inshallah, we catch some fish. I wonder how that got there. up ahead. Hold on tight. This way, Kazwa. Uh, uh, are we safe? Looks like it. I think he needs our help. <laughs> Run! Oh, 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 oh. 
didn't know fishing could be this dangerous, Zeki. Next time, be careful where you toss your fishing line. I don't think there'll be a next time. Look under the ocean, what do you see? Lots and lots of fish, so beautiful to see. Look, there's a turtle, look, there's a stingray, look, there's a seahorse, yellow and green. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Big blue whales, an octopus too, an eel, a shark, swim in the deep blue. Look, there's a green fish, look, there's a blue fish, look, there's a yellow fish, so many to see. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Look at the starfish, red, pink and blue. Isn't it amazing? For me and for you. Look at the seahorse swimming away. So many beautiful creatures. Look and you'll see. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Lots and lots of fish. Subhanallah. I can see a crab. Subhanallah. I can see a seal. Subhanallah. And a sea turtle too. Subhanallah. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Big beautiful ocean. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full, Kazwa. Sorry, Zeki. I was trying to say Jazakallah Khairan for the tea and cake. Mmm, mmm. So delicious. What are you um, Kaz? Glad you like it. Ooh, my tummy is getting big. I think I've eaten too many sweets lately. Too many sweets can make you put on weight, Kaz. You should cut down on the sweets and try to eat healthier food with regular exercise. You're right, Zeki. I'll go for a jog later today, inshallah. That's a great idea. As soon as I finish this slice. I think you already had too many slices, Kazwa. Fine. No more sweets for now. I'm going to get fit and healthy again, inshallah. This is so easy. I think I'll take a quick break. All that honey dripping on the ground. What a waste. No, Keswa. No sweet things for now, and you don't want to get in trouble with Bilal. But I guess a little honey won't hurt, and it's not stealing if it's already dripping out. I'll just take a tiny bit, just to get some energy for my jog. 
I gotta focus. I can do this in shit Allah. Well done, Kazwa! Who knew that eating honey could be such good exercise? Until next time, remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others, especially bees. Assalamu alaikum! Are you ready to do some exercises with Kazwa? Great! Let's start with back turns. Now let's do some punches. Now let's do windmills. And now let's do some squats. Well done. Now let's do ski hops. Now we will do some star jumps. And 
And now, some high knee jacks. If you get tired, you can take a break anytime you need to. Let's now do some kickbacks. Well done, great effort. Now we will do some knee push-ups. Let's do some donkey kicks, starting with the right leg. And now, with our left leg. And for our last exercise, we will do some side deep squats. Well done everyone! It's so hard to get these leaves from my rooftop. I think I need to buy a ladder. Assalamu alaikum Zaki. Wa alaikum assalam Dawood. Have you seen butter today? No, I haven't. What seems to be the problem? Butter didn't come to the playground today. He always comes there after school. Maybe he went home to help his mother with some chores. I went to his house and his mother said he wasn't there. Maybe he went to the library or stayed behind in school to do his homework. But Butter loves to come to the playground after school. Everybody loves to play and have fun, but we also need to spend some time studying so that we can get good grades in school. Is everything alright there, Wood? Um, I think Butter is afraid to go to the playground. Hmm, now why would Butter be afraid to go to the playground? It's so much fun there. Well, some of the other kids have been calling him names. Ah, bullying. Nobody likes to be bullied. I'm glad you have told me that, Wood. Now we need to go find Badr. Badr! 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 Assalamu alaikum boys. Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Have either of you seen Badr today? No we haven't Zaki. Although we could really use his help right about now. To help us get this balloon down. You are not tall enough to reach that balloon. Would you like some help? Yes please. my balloon. I saw it first. I touched it first. Whoa! Wait a minute guys. You shouldn't fight and be mean to each other. If you share the balloon, you can take turns to hold it and even play with it together. That sounds fairer and more fun. Don't you agree? Now why don't you both shake hands and agree to share like good brothers? Okay Zaki. It's my piece of string. I saw it first. I touched it first. Hmm. 
Badr! Badr! We'll never find him! Hmm... Somebody must have seen him. Assalamu alaikum, Zain. Have you seen Badr anywhere today? Wa alaikum as salam, Zaki. Yes, I saw him today. He was walking towards the woods. Thanks, Zain. Now, where did I put my glasses? Badr. 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 Oh, there he is. Assalamu alaikum, Badr. That looks like a fun comic you're reading. Wa alaikum as salam, Zaki. Their wood and I were getting worried about you. You didn't go to the playground after school, and we know that you love to play there. Is everything okay? Um. Are you sure, Badr? Wouldn't you like to come with us to the playground? Um, no, thank you. I don't feel like playing today. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come to the playground and play soccer with us? Um, I can't. Why not, Badr? Um... If something is wrong, then you can tell us. Some of the other kids at the playground are calling me names and making fun of me. It makes me feel very sad and sometimes scared. That's called bullying. Bullying is a form of oppression and this is not allowed in Islam. When someone is calling you names, hitting, pushing, or shoving you, or do anything to make you feel threatened or afraid, that's bullying, and it needs to be stopped. But what can we do if they're bigger and stronger than us? If you ever feel like someone is making fun of you, or trying to make you feel afraid, first you need to ignore them or ask them to stop. If they continue to make fun of you, then you can try to pretend you don't care, or even laugh and joke along with them, and maybe then they will stop. But if they continue to call you names and make you feel afraid, or even worse, if they hit you or push you, then you must tell a teacher, your parents, or a responsible adult. They can then talk to those who are bullying you and explain to them that it is wrong and it must stop. But they make fun of me because I'm so tall. Bullies will always make fun of people because they are different. But it's the thing that makes us different from everyone else that makes us so special. Come on, Badr. Let's go to the playground and play soccer. What's wrong? Those are the kids who called Badr names. Why don't we help them get the ball down first, then we can talk to them and explain why bullying is wrong. It's not only the person that is being bullied who needs to tell a teacher or adult, but if you ever see a friend or any other person being bullied, you should always be a good person or tell someone older who can help the bullying stop. Now let's go play! Is that you, Maui? Assalamu alaikum, Kazwa. Yes, it's me. Long time no see. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. Yes, it's been a while since we last saw you at Snowcap Mountain. Yes, it has. 
Is Zaki around? Uh, he should be home now. Come, I'll take you there. How are things on Snowcap Mountain? It's good, walhamdulillah. Snowing as usual. Ooh, it was really cold there. Assalamu alaikum, Wa alaikum assalam, Tufa and Tima. It's great to see you both again. You too, Maui. Where are you guys off to? I am taking Maui to Zaki's house. See you guys later, inshallah. We will come to Zaki's house later in the afternoon, inshallah. Okay, see you then. Oh, there's Harun and Rashid. Let's go meet them. Is that a polar bear? It looks like Zaki is covered in snow. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Wa alaikum assalam, Kazwa. This is my friend Maui from Snowcap Mountain. Assalamu alaikum, Harun and Rashid. Nice to meet you both. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. We've never met a polar bear before. It must be very cold at Snowcap Mountain. Oh, yes, it sure is. Are there many animals on Snowcap Mountain? Yes, there are many animals that live in the snow. There are seals, penguins, and even snow leopards. And they all have thick fur to keep them nice and warm, just like me. Wow, I would love to visit Snowcap Mountain one day. Sure, you can go there anytime. Come on, Maui, let's go see Zaki. Okay then, I'll see you guys later insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Oh, there's Zain, our local postman. Assalamu alaikum, Zain. I'd like you to meet my friend Maui from Snowcap Mountain. Wa alaikum assalam. Nice to meet you, Maui. Nice to meet you too, Zain. Well, if you don't mind, I must go deliver some urgent mail. Insha'Allah, I will see you later. Assalamu alaikum. This is Maui. Assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you, Maui. I'm Nadine. And I'm Dawood. Pleased to meet you both. What are you working on? We are working on our Arabic exercise. We can't seem to figure this part out. Well, I know some Arabic and Quran. Maybe I can help. We can't remember how to say welcome in Arabic. Welcome in Arabic is marhaba. 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 That was easy. Well done. You said it perfectly. Thanks, Thanks Maui. Jazakallah khairan. Wa iyyakum. Happy to help. Oh, look. There's Zaki. Zaki, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. I can't believe it's you. Yes, it's so good to finally be here. I really love it here. It's so nice and warm. Did you meet anyone yet? Yeah, I sure did. Kazwa showed me around and introduced me. So how is your snowboarding school going? Well, I sold the school and decided I wanted to learn Arabic and Qur'an. Now that I've learnt it, I want to become a teacher. Really? That's amazing! You know something? There is a new school opening here, and they are looking for Qur'an teachers. That's perfect, Maui! You can teach at the school! Hmm, that sounds like a great idea! I would love to teach at the school. They will be so happy to have you! I will take you there tomorrow to meet them. Oh look, everyone is here. Let's tell them the great news.
What a beautiful day! Subhanallah! I love camping trips. So do I, Tufa. Me too. Camping is a great way to spend time with your friends and learn about nature. Look over there. There's nothing there. It's just a twig. Keep watching. Wow! Subhanallah! There are animals and insects all around us, just going about their daily lives. But it's not always easy to see them, because they are so good at hiding. Many of the birds and animals are similar colours to their surroundings. Some can even change colour. Come on guys, we have to keep moving so we can set up camp before dark. Why do some animals change colour, Zaki? Yeah, why do they? Well, some smaller animals want to change colour so they can always blend in with their surroundings. So that way, they can hide from other animals who might want to eat them, like big birds and snakes. Some chameleons can change to almost any colour, even orange, blue or pink. Moe! Moe? Wait guys, where's Moe? Oh, there he is, Zeki! What's wrong, Moe? I'm s scared of snakes. I don't like the way they slither and slide. <laughs> don't worry, Moe. There are no dangerous snakes here. Whew. Alhamdulillah, that's good to hear. Snakes don't want to hurt you. You're much bigger than snakes are, Moe. They are more scared of you than you are of them. Oops. Great work guys, I'll go over and see if the others need a hand. Don't forget the mosquito net. What's that sound? That sounds like a woodpecker. What's a woodpecker? A woodpecker is a bird that uses its beak to tap 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 on the side of trees. They have strong claws to hold onto the tree and big strong beaks for tapping. Amazing! SubhanAllah! Why does the woodpecker tap, tap, tap on the tree, Zaki? Well, Maui, it's looking for food. A woodpecker eats berries and insects like ants and spiders. Uh, spiders? Yes, woodpeckers love to eat spiders. What's wrong, Maui? I don't like spiders. I don't like the way they creep and crawl. <laughs> don't worry, Maui. The spiders here aren't dangerous. They won't hurt you. You know, they are much smaller than you are and more scared of you. 
Can you pass me some more pegs, please, Maui? The tent is almost ready. Spider! <laughs> It's not nice. Will you tell us a story, Zaki? Yes, please. Will you tell us a story, Zaki? A scary story about ghosts or monsters. But please, not about spiders or snakes. Well, I don't want you all to be scared. We won't be scared. No way. We're not scared of a story. Not even a true story? Please tell us, Zaki. Oh, come on, Zaki. Please. Well, okay. Deep in the darkest corner of this forest lives a giant bone biter, a large hairy creature like a yeti or a monstrous snow monster. But the bone biter is much bigger and stronger, with six legs and two heads, and many big thirsty teeth and large sharp claws. The giant bone biter lays traps out across the forest, leaving clearings perfect for friends and family to pitch their tents and build their fires. And when they make their camp, he sits hidden in the trees, watching them, waiting for dark. Once it's dark, he sharpens his fangs and claws, ready to eat, as he watches all the campers trying to decide which one he will eat first. And just before he goes in to eat his first victim, he screams out at the top of his lungs three times, and then charges in to eat. Is that it? That's not scary. Achoo! Whoa, what was that? Achoo! It's the bone biter! Achoo! Someone save us! <sighs> Sorry if I made you jump. I just can't stop sneezing. يرحمك الله كازوا يهدينا ويهديكم الله You know guys, it's never nice to make fun of someone because they are afraid. Sometimes we can all laugh together, but it's not nice to laugh at a friend when they are scared, sad or upset about something. It doesn't matter what people are afraid of, whether it's spiders, snakes, ghost stories, or anything else. Good friends need to respect and support each other, offering comfort and courage to help their friends feel safe. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught us to be kind and respectful to our friends. We are sorry for making fun of you, Maui. Now we understand. How it feels to be scared. It's okay. I hope no one is scared now. We are all friends here, happy and safe together. <laughs> Achoo! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Do -do 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 -do.
Assalamu alaikum, Rashid. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I couldn't be better. He's been lazy. He just won't help anymore. Why aren't you helping out? It's boring. And I don't need to do the gardening. They will do it. I just want to relax today. But working hard is good for you. So by cleaning or doing anything productive, it will actually make you feel better. Not to mention how happy it'll make your mother feel. Nah, I want to be like a horse. They just get to lay around in the field all day, while the farmer does all the work. Hmm, would you like me to help? I have nothing important to do right now. Yes, that would be great. Thank you so much, Saki. <laughs> Is everything okay, Rashid? Yes, Saki. It's a beautiful day, and I don't have to go to school. Everything is perfect. Why aren't you playing with the others? I just don't feel like playing right now. Really? I thought you loved playing sports. Nah, no, not anymore. Now I just prefer to lie around and watch others playing. I can still cheer when my team wins. That's not the same as playing, Rashid. You'll have much more fun playing. I don't want to exercise. I want to be just like that bird, sitting on that branch. Hmm. Thank you so much for inviting me to lunch, Halima. My pleasure, Zaki. We wanted to thank you for helping us with the gardening. The food looks so delicious. I didn't cook it all myself, Zaki. Harun did a lot of the preparation for me. MashaAllah, Harun. I didn't know you could cook so well. <gasps> Rashid, slow down, or else you'll get a stomachache. Don't worry, Zaki. I'll be okay. But you haven't been very active lately, Rashid. So if you eat too much, you can put on too much weight, which can be very difficult to lose. I'll be fine, Zaki. Assalamu alaikum, Rashid. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. Are you okay? You seem tired. Yes, but I'm okay. School finished over an hour ago. You look so tired and out of breath. Maybe, but I'll make it home eventually. Come with me. 
I want to show you something, Rashid. Look out into the field, and what do you see? Oh, it's the horses. They're helping the farmer. Yes, the farmer relies on his horses to pull his plough and prepare his fields to plant the seeds. They work so hard and that is why they are so big and strong. And look up there, what do you see? Oh, that bird caught a worm to feed its young. That's right, they have to work very hard to build their nest and get food for their young ones. They live a very busy life. But I work hard at school. That is great. However, just because you work hard in school doesn't mean you should be lazy after school. It's okay to rest sometimes when we are tired, but we should try not to be too lazy. Being lazy makes us unfit and can also make us sick. Even Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would ask Allah daily to protect him from laziness. Hard work, especially when helping others, can be so rewarding. Why don't you go play with your friends? I think it will be good for you to start getting fit. I think I have a better idea. I'll go home and help my mother. She may need some help preparing dinner. Now that's an even better idea. Laziness is something that Allah has told us about in the Qur'an. He mentioned it twice, referring to those who were lazy towards their prayers. The Prophet ﷺ was so concerned about being lazy that he would make dua to Allah each day to protect him from laziness. Let's learn this dua together so we can be protected too. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-hazan wal-ajzi wal-kasal wal-jubni wal-bukhul wadala' al-dayni wa-ghalabati al-rijal we should be like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and recite this dua each day. Can anyone see the new moon yet? I don't see anything. Oh, oh look! There's a shooting star! Wow! MashaAllah! Make sure you all look really carefully because the new moon is tiny and can sometimes be very difficult to see. But don't worry, I'm sure we will see it very soon, inshaAllah. I think I see something over there! Oh, that's the Ramadan moon. Well, now we know for sure that Ramadan has begun. Yay! So exciting. Yeah, it sure is. There's just something about Ramadan that makes us feel so good inside. Well, now that we have seen the moon, let's get an early night's sleep so we can wake up extra early for suhoor, inshallah. That's a great idea, Zaki. <laughs> Oh, assalamu alaikum and good morning, Zaki. Thanks for letting me stay the night. Jazakallah khairan. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. Not a problem. Happy to have you here. Let's prepare something light for suhoor. Mm -mm. 
Mmm, even though I'm so tired, this looks so delicious and healthy. That's just what we need to give us some energy for our first day of fasting. Let's see before it's time for Fajr. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Did you have a good sahur Zaki? Yes, alhamdulillah. We had some fruit, dates and eggs. What about you? What did you have? My mom made me a delicious sandwich. Come on guys, it's time to pray Fajr. I'm very excited this Ramadan Zaki. But sometimes it seems like all I think about is food. <laughs> I know you love food, Kazwa, but there are many things you can do during Ramadan apart from eating. It is a time to do as many good deeds as possible, to get lots of extra rewards, inshallah. Oh, okay, Zaki. Let's go read some Quran by the river. Great idea, Kazwa. Did you know, Kazwa, that reading the Qur'an is one of the best things you can do while fasting? We should read as slow as possible and try to understand each word we read so we know what Allah is telling us. Oh yes, that makes sense. Helping others is another great deed to do while fasting. Assalamu alaikum guys. Thanks so much for coming to help. My garden is such a mess. Wa alaikum assalam Nadine. We're happy to help. Allah, the garden looks amazing. It really does. It was lots of fun too. <laughs> Do you guys have plans for iftar tonight? Hmm, I don't know. Me neither. That's perfect. You can have iftar at my place, inshallah. Oh, yummy. What are you cooking, Nadine? It's a surprise, Kaswa, but I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, I can't wait. Me too. Okay, Nadine. We'll see you later, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. It's my turn to sleep in it. No, you slept there yesterday. No, no, no I want to sleep on it. No, you want to sleep. You... Assalamu alaikum, guys. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. What are you two arguing about now? She slept on the hammock yesterday, so it should be my turn today. I was just laying on her. Oh, I didn't sleep. That's the same thing. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Calm down, guys. First thing is, you need to remember that you are fasting, which means you cannot lose your temper or get angry. And second thing is, you are brothers, and you should always be kind to one another. Do you both want lots of rewards during Ramadan? We sure do, Zaki. Well, did you know that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that you should love for others to have the good things that you have. So if you know that your brother really wants to sleep on the hammock, then you should offer it to him. Be my guest, Harun. No, no, please, I insist. It's okay, you can sleep on it. I said no, it is for you now. Here we go again. Okay, guys. We have to go. Are you coming to Nadine's place for iftar tonight? Yes, we'll be there, inshallah. Okay, great. We'll see you there, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam.
Assalamu alaikum children. We all hope you have the best Ramadan and gain so much rewards from this great month. Try your best to do more good deeds than what you did last Ramadan. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Ramadan games! Oh Ramadan, oh Ramadan, month of mercy you. One for Kids online store. Check out our range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki talking and singing toy, Zaki's Arabic pack, cloud pillow, plush toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan show bag and the Ramadan educational pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support.